You fly as hell, swagger around, brown skin popping. You know just how that talk to me. Know just how I like it. You're turning me on. You're turning me on. You're turning me on. Now wait a minute, little buster. You got one more time to feel on my booty. Better recognize a lady that ain't the way you do. You're turning me off. You're turning me off. You're turning me off. Better recognize a real woman. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, we are doing a pattern review and a what you working on Wednesday. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review and what I've been working on this Wednesday. All right, so like I set up all my What You Working On Wednesdays, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you that table of content. I'm gonna tell you what I worked on are finished up, what's coming up this upcoming week, and the Joann's pattern sale. So if that's some content that you ready to listen to, let's go ahead and get started on what I worked on this week. Now, because this is a pattern review, I am just going to tell you that I worked on New Look 6514. Now the pattern description says that it's five sizes in one. Uh, duh, we know this. But what the pattern description should have said that it is a jacket or a duster, or you could call it a cardigan. That's what this garment is. Once again, it's new look 6514. All right, the sewing skill. So the sewing skill for this pattern is rated at easy. On the pattern envelope, it also says that it's easy. So it is easy to sew, that it is. However, I would say that it is for a beginner sewist, but I would also say that for your beginning sewist, like if you are new to pattern, I would say that it's more of a beginner intermediate sewist versus an advanced or a true beginner sewist. The pattern pieces used. So I believe that the pattern pieces that I used for this pattern was a total of five pieces. Um, you have your pattern piece number one, your front, pattern piece number two, your back, pattern piece number three, your front facing, pattern piece number four, your back facing, and pattern piece number five, your sleeve. However, I also did um, do a pocket. So I did draft my own pocket um, in order to, you know, put on the side of the um, jacket slash cardigan um, because who don't want pockets? I'm just saying like, yeah. So I just basically use my pocket pattern that I put for every single pattern pretty much. I have one that's a regular pocket pattern and then one I have like side seam pocket pattern. So I just use my regular pocket pattern in order to create that pocket that you see on the side of my jacket. Notions used. So the only notion that you will need in order to create this jacket would be just thread. You don't need anything else. You just need coordinating thread in order to complete this jacket. Pattern sizing. So the pattern sizing used for this jacket, the pattern runs from extra small to extra large. Now the size that I cut for this pattern is a medium. Um, so I did cut the medium and I did grade a little bit at the um, waist area because it just, would be very, very tight in the bust and the waist. So even though I cut a medium and um, the medium, actually cutting the medium gave me a bust of a 41. Now I did want this to be a little on the fitted side instead of, you know, not so fitted. So because my bust is a 40 and a half, I figured a half an inch um, would be great because if you look at the bust area, I'm gonna put photos up so you can see, if you look at the bust area, it's really um, nice fitted at the bust. And then at the waist, uh, you will notice that for a medium, the waist says that it's 28 to 30. My waist measurement is a 32, 32 and a half. 
if you know on a good day if I'm really really eating um, but <laughs> but 32 and a half is normally what I go for for my waist for fitted items or whatever so therefore I did have to grade from a 28 to 30 to a 32 and a half so I did have to add I added a total of four inches reason being is because if it's more fitted towards the um, 28 it would give me a 32 which is my waist measurement if it's more geared towards the 30 it gives me a 34 which gives me a loose fit but not much of too much bagginess going on in the waist area now for the hips for a medium it says that it's a 38 to 40 so at the hips I did grade up a total of six inches so it's not tight around the uh, hip area <laughs> so that's what I did in order to grade to the sides that I needed all right any modifications so modifications once again it's one of those things where I don't make many modifications to you know like a simple pattern like this but I did add belt loops and a tie belt so when it comes to the belt loops, I self draft my own belt loops. You can look up and see that video where I drafted a tie bow and belt loops um, for a dress. I think it was Butterick 6677. So you can look up and see how I do that. Regarding the tie belt, listen, I just copied the pattern from Simplicity 8221. I just literally pulled the pattern out just to make a tie belt simply because it's in the front part of my box that my daughter needs to put up the patterns that I have already used. She just have not done that yet in about two weeks. So I just pulled it out um, in order to create. Now the pattern that I really wanted to use for my belt loop, not my belt loop, but my tie belt is McCall 7807. Reason being is because it has like a thicker um, belt and that's what I really wanted for this. However, it was fine that I used Simplicity 8221 for the tie belt. Did it look like the pattern envelope? So yes, it did look like, yes, it does look like the pattern um, envelope. There's nothing different other than I added belt loops and a tie belt in order to keep my jacket closed if I wanted to wear it closed. But other than that, yes, it does look like the pattern envelope. Were the instructions easy to follow? So to be honest with you, I didn't really look at the instructions, but I did just for the sake. I did not follow along with the instructions, but I did look at the instructions just for the sake of doing this pattern review. And yes, they are easy to follow. However, I believe it's Montoya Mayo. She also has a YouTube video on how to construct this jacket. However, I completely forgot until the very end of the video. When I say I forgot, I literally forgot until I was putting the facing on and I was going through looking at videos on YouTube and actually went to Montoya Mayo's channel um looking at something else that she created uh it was a skirt by the way and it popped up as the next video and i was like oh snap i forgot that montoya mail did a tutorial for this pattern new look 6514 so if you want to make this pattern pull it out and you can always sew along to montoya mail's video new look 6514 likes and dislikes for this pattern so it's all love 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 there's nothing that i dislike about this pattern whatsoever this is a quick and easy four hour sew from start to fitting finish that's cutting out the pattern cutting out the pattern would not take you any more than 20 minutes to cut out the pattern pieces because it's only five pieces cutting out the fabric shouldn't take you no more than an hour hour and 15 minutes sewing it all together an hour and a half maybe two hours top no more than five hours to sew this entire uh cardigan slash duster slash jacket together so yes this is a very 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 easy sew the fabric used so the fabric used for this jacket is 100 percent ankara 
Um, where did I purchase this fabric from? I purchased it. I purchased this fabric way back in like 2018, 2019 from Africa clothing store on Etsy. However, she no longer has an Etsy shop. Um, you can go to her website. First of all, you can follow her on Instagram at Africa clothing store, and it will also take you to her, sh her shop at africclothingstore.com. So um, I'm pretty sure that she probably do not have this print, but you can always check. It doesn't hurt to check. It's either a yes, we have it or no, we don't. So yeah, you can always check and see if she has this print in stock um, on her website. So would I sew this pattern again? Um, to be honest, yes, I would sew this pattern again. I do have plans to sew this pattern again in a linen fabric just kind of I do have some mustard linen some like a teal color linen and then I also still have that purple linen as well so yes I would sew this again just to utilize that linen and I think it would be a nice jacket cardigan duster to wear in linen as well yes yeah, so yes I would sew it again would I recommend this pattern to others of course this is a quick throw on. You could throw it on some jeans. You could actually, if you really wanted to, the front portion of it, I think I may do this um, to this pattern at some point, I don't know when, but what I will do is add a zipper. So what I would do is take that front um, bodice portion, create a one inch, you know, basically extend it one inch just for the zipper and create a zipper pretty much from like the waistline up just to zip that portion up and then have the bottom finished off and still you know hemmed um in the front so yes i would create this again with slight modifications so my pattern rating so my pattern rating for this pattern is a five out of five i love this pattern super simple to sew so easy to throw on on top of anything so this one i did wear as a casual because you guys always see me in heels in most of my photos so i figured it was time to switch it up and show how you can style something that's so nice and polished like this jacket slash cardigan slash duster you can style it with some tennis shoes you can style it with some Tims, you can style it with some, you know, flat, how, you know, what have you basically, and still look polished and chic all in the same token. All right. So now that I did my pattern review for a new look 6514, let's go ahead and talk about what's coming up this upcoming week. All right. So what's coming up this upcoming week? Listen, you guys know that last um what you're working on wednesday last week i talked about my trench coat so my trench coat is more than 85 percent done the only thing i have to do is finish the buttonholes and add the buttons onto my trench coat so that's one thing that i want to finish this weekend to have ready to post next week so that's one thing that i want to finish also if i have time over the weekend I do want to um, finish up a second duster cardigan shirt dress that I am more than 70% done with. It is Butterick 6640. So I have been working on that during the week. This week, basically, I've been working on that. It is more than, like I said, more than 75% done. I just need to finish off the collar at the sleeves. Um, and him it now um, with me working on that shirt dress slash cardigan duster um, I'm gonna put this all in a pattern review but I did chop off more than 10 inches and guess what it's still long <laughs> so I mean I am not that tall I'm only five five and three four five six if you want to call it on a good day however it is still long like it's almost to my ankles so i'm debating on if i want to chop off a little bit more 
or if I want to keep it that way and then style it and see how I like it. So I'm in the air about that, but you guys will see it hopefully next week. So I'm hoping to get two posts up for you guys next week. So now that I talked about what's coming up this upcoming week, let's go ahead and jump into Joanne's pattern sell this week. All right, so Joanne's pattern sell this week is one, Butterick patterns for $1.99, and two, Vogue patterns for $5.99. So if you guys notice that Butterick and Vogue's been getting a lot of love, along with quick sew and simplicity. Now, listen, I've been waiting on a McCall's pattern sale for over a month now. I don't know what Joann's, Hobby Lobby, all of the pattern stores have been doing with these patterns, but they keep skipping over McCall's. Like, why? $1.99 McCall sale. So I think it was Black Friday. A lot of stores had 70% off. I just want to make a very clear note. No one wants to buy a pattern for nine and ten dollars for a McCall's pattern, Butterick, Vogue, whatever pattern, unless they really want that pattern. Most of us will wait until the store has a dollar ninety nine cent sell at Joann's and pick up the pattern. So that 70% off that Joann's were doing for Black Friday, I'm pretty sure they lost a lot of sales during that time for those. Now my store did not do that 70% off because they know it will not work. Reason being is because seasoned sewists who knows the pattern, you know, sells, who knows that patterns are on sale almost every single week at Joann's, if not every single week, every other week. If Butterick is on sale this week, we know in two weeks, Simplicity or McCall's will be on sale. You know, so it's kind of like, you know, your rotation, you know, your season for these different pattern sales. But what I will note, you know, is that if we're used to $1.99, you make us not want to buy when you up your price to $9 or $8. We will wait until it's $2, maybe $3, but eight and $9 on a pattern. Absolutely not. You're asking for us not to shop for patterns. <laughs> okay. So let's get it together. Joann's and make these patterns a dollar 99 or even better 99 cents. Love that. Now Vogue patterns, five 99. Uh, I have not seen Vogue patterns less than $4.99 um, in like the last two or three years, I believe. Um, now, I remember when I first started sewing, this was over a decade ago, just about a decade ago, right? And I remember that Vogue patterns used to be $2.99. Once I got real serious about Vogue patterns for $2.99 and I started picking up Vogue patterns, they jumped to $4.99. Now they're $5.99 and I know with the prices of everything going up in 2021, almost 2022, I could see Vogue patterns probably jump into $6.99 in 2022. I hope not, but there are some Vogue patterns that I really want to pick up, okay? Because if you guys have not been following the hashtag me made uh mm holiday fashion show i think that's uh talisha talisha from creativity by t she has the hashtag mm holiday fashion show and have you guys seen those ladies come through like seriously um i know the first one was crystal souls and stuff and heather from um textile taylor thought their dresses were amazing and then the week after that, she had Martika from Martika J Make, Makes, I'm sorry, Martika J Makes. That black tie gala, I love Talisha's dress. It was amazing. It was a Vogue pattern, by the way, of course. And then, did you guys see this weekend? Like, I literally had to pick my mouth off the floor from Cherie. Sheree Thomas from, Sheree, you know, Sheree Thomas, I think her handle is Sheree Thomas 30 on IG. 
did you guys see the dress? She used the McCall's pattern and Talisha used the McCall's pattern as well. However, the Winter Wonderland All White Affair, oh, what? Like I really don't wear a lot of all white anything, but those ladies, can't, they did not play. Like they did not play. I was like, oh my God, I'm just waiting for Sunday for the next person, which if you watch their video Sunday, it said Tamika, um, I don't, to be honest with you, Tamika from, I think her handle is that so cute here on YouTube. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure on that one. Um, I think she's a newest, new so is. And I'm just interested in watching all of the hashtag MM holiday fashion show. So if you have not been watching, I will put a link to the um, videos that Talisha has that you can watch them. I just find them to be, you know, ideas. You know, you can always come up with ideas and different type of inspiration. Cause you guys know I do a lot of inspirations from Pinterest, Instagram, and it may help you come up with different things that you can wear for your next holiday event. Now, um, also I noticed that with that hashtag MM holiday um, fashion show, um, it's going until I believe December 26th. So, um, there's another person coming next weekend. I think it's a Thursday and then the last one. So they have like three or four more, uh, coming up. The last one is like December 26th, I believe. So I'm just ready to watch it all because I have garments that I have to finish up. But also a couple of these makes are on my list to make now that I have seen other sewists do so. So I'm just ready to see the rest of it and everything. But that's all that I have in this episode of What You Working On Wednesday. So just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time.